everyone, WX Ninja here with your daily weather forecast. Hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving and holiday weekend. Got some Black Friday shopping done. And good old Cyber Monday today, right? All right, let's take a look at the current conditions. A little cooler out west, kind of drops down through the central part of the country. Kind of goes up around Oklahoma and then back down to the south. Let's zoom in here on the northeast right now. They're getting a major snowstorm over there. We're talking some places might get 20 inches of snow. That's... It's a hefty amount. You can see the uh, heavy showers off the coast of rain and then snow inland into the New York area. Back here into the upper parts of uh, New York, you know, Albany and whatnot. Into PA, looks like Connecticut's going to get in on it. Uh, just all these areas throughout the Northeast. Going to get some heavy, heavy snow. Looks like right now the rain snow lines around Boston. Uh, let's zoom in a little closer there. Yeah, it's about 36 in Boston. So uh, as this goes through, though, uh, might change over to snow there. So we'll just have to see how it goes. But again, some heavy, heavy snow uh, totals in some, some pretty major cities. Let's take a look at the GFS here, and we'll see what we got. We got that strong low, 991 millibars right off the east coast. It's just throwing moisture over that cold air, of course. That's how you get the snow. Uh, and that's how they're seeing the heavy totals as we go through time here. Low strengthens and moves out to shore a little bit. It's probably going to usher in some colder air. Maybe that's when Boston will switch over to snow. It looks like towards the end. It's still kind of close there, so we'll have to see how that works out. Maybe some ice up in parts of Maine. But just a big, big system moving up the coast there. And there's your heavy, heavy snow for early, early tomorrow morning. So if you're living throughout this region, just keep a close eye on the forecast. You're going to get hit with some heavy snow. That low still strengthens to 978. Still throwing that moisture in there. It goes down to 976. So wind, snow, cold. Uh, pretty much what you're getting right now. But some heavy, heavy totals in through there. So it's going to be a snowy couple days out there in the northeast. As we move out through the day Wednesday, it should start to move out. See a little bit of maybe lake effect snow here. As we go into Wednesday, another system coming into, uh, looks like parts of Oregon, northern parts of Oregon, and into Washington, and then down to California. Again, some snow up the Great Lakes there. And you can just see kind of the dividing line between the warm and the cold. A little dip in the east there. Quiet's down out west. This moves into the Four Corners, excuse me, region. And then you're left with some snow showers out in the east. Quiets down as we go into Friday. Low tries to develop in the central part of the U.S. Uh, doesn't look like it gets too organized, but you see a stronger front coming onto the west coast there. Again, more lake effect snow showers. It's that time of year for it. it looks like maybe some mountain snow out west. As we move into the weekend. Yeah, just the big system out west there. It's trying to move across the country. Uh, maybe some Intermountain West snow. This is your Monday, next Monday, so a week from today. We see another low develop. Some snow out in the uh, central part, northern part of the U.S. This one looks a little too warm. Looks like it's going to be mostly rain. As you see, another little system moves through. We'll just quickly go through this and see maybe some more snow. We'll have to see. All right, let's switch over to... This is the snowfall map as you see some heavy, heavy totals out in the northeast. Like we're talking, we'll go ahead in time here, 24 hours. As we saw, that low moved off. Went up north, some heavier totals up in the main. And then some leftover lake effect snow behind it. We go into Thursday, same kind of deal. Lake effect snow, and then we see some snow in the higher terrain here out in the west, the Four Corners region. As we go into Friday... Snow winds down pretty much in all parts of the country, just a little bit out here in the four corners. And looks like maybe some lake effect snow stuff out here uh, in the uh, northeast there. Moving to Saturday, heavier snow down in the <clears throat> California and a little bit of leftover snow here in the east. Quiets down in the northeast, but we get that next system, so we have some mountain snow out west. And you get some snow up north. It's pretty typical. I know North Dakota had a pretty big snowstorm going on over the weekend. 
Uh, looks like they got hammered with some fairly big snow totals out there. So everything kind of moves throughout the country there. Starts heading off to the east. Here was this next possible shot of a little bit of snow for the northeast. All right, 500 millibar height time. So this tells us kind of where the cold and warm is going to be. As you can see right now, there's a cold pool off the west, cold pool in the east. That's why they're getting all the snow. And pretty, uh, pretty average throughout the... Uh, about the middle part of the country. Uh, let me make sure I got this on the right one. Oops. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't. Sorry. There we go. So this is a new run, so it's not all the way done, but we'll just kind of go through it. See how things progress. See, it stays a little cool out in the uh, east. Kind of normal overall to the central part of the U.S., little cold pool off California. This moves off the northeast. Another one comes onto the west coast. Moves throughout the country. Heads off to the east. There you see again. Bit of a cold pool for the northeast there. So that's how that's looking. Let's switch over to the GFS here. And we'll get a little longer look at this. So we'll go back to the beginning and we'll just play the loop for you guys. You kind of see this is where our cold air comes from, of course. So we're seeing, can we tap into any of this cold air? We've got a blocking high here. Not really loud in the west to tap into it. A little bit in the northeast. Looks like some of it's going to come down as we get into next week. It's a pretty decent cold pool for next week. A little bit down here in California. It goes back to a blocking high out west. This moves off to the northeast. But I only see one real shot of cold, cold air. We'll look at it here again. That was going to be from the northeast. So we'll see it drop down right here as it starts to form. And there it is. You get the cold pool off the west coast. Then you get this high coming down from BC. Blocks here and allows the cold air to shoot over here to the northeast. So if this holds true, then around the 12th of December, the Northeast would get a pretty decent shot of cold air, maybe another little reinforcing shot. But again, those models are out there in time, so we'll have to watch and see what happens. Uh, here's your 850 millibar temperature anomaly. So you see the cold pool out in the east. Um, a little bit warmer on average up north. If you go through time, this is for tomorrow. Warmer in the west, cooler in the east. Same kind of deal. How many times have we said that this year so far? Warmer in the west and cooler in the east. It's kind of how things are setting up right now. Other than the colder shot that we had for the holiday last week, uh, it was colder than average out west. A um, little bit of snow in parts of the west there. We typically don't get it this early in the year. Moving to Friday. Colder air out east again. A little warmer in the west. Same kind of deal. Colder strengthens in the east. See, warmer than average up in the north there. Looks like a shot of cold air tries to come down. Makes it a little bit into the central part of the U.S. Warmer out east, warmer out west. I'm going to guess this is going to move off to the east. As you get the warmer air in front of it and behind it. Yeah, and then it moves off to the east. For Wednesday, December 11th, and that's pretty much what we saw on the 500 millibar height chart. This was that second, or that technically the first shot I guess you could say and then it kind of just goes a little bit warmer than average overall so we'll have to see exactly what happens again you know they're getting hammered out east here with some snow and if you live in that area I'm sure you're uh, you're seeing it now they're saying 33 for Boston so um, we'll have to see you know what happens in Boston here if they do switch over to snow I wouldn't be surprised if they did uh, not brutally cold I mean the coldest you see is like 27 28 25s um, so no teens but cold enough for snow obviously so it's gonna make a mess back here I mean it already has but it's just gonna get worse you know when you get these major cities that are seeing a lot of snow uh, probably a lot of airport delays uh, and whatnot. So, 
Just keep your eyes open if you live back there. Keep a close watch on the forecast. I'll let you know what's going to happen, Boston. Like I said, you're right on the line. Uh, maybe some areas are seeing snow. With it being 33 degrees, it's not hard to get snow in the air. Uh, it more depends on the upper levels than the surface. It's just obviously you'd like it to be below freezing if you want to see it stick and start to pile up so you can build a snowman. It's getting that time of year. So I appreciate everyone stopping by. This is WX Ninja. If you want to get more updates, just uh, subscribe and click the bell icon, and we will see you next time. Take care.